minus 1 square by sin x into log of 1 plus x to the base of t when x is not equal to 0 and k when x equal to 0 this function is known to be continuous at x equal to 0 find k find k this question is testing you on your understanding of limits that's it just have to evaluate the limit of this function as x tends to 0 that will be okay this question itself uses three standard limits what are they? number one have a quick recap limit extending to 0 a to the power x minus 1 by x what is it? log of it second limit x tending to 0 sin x by x 1 third one limit x tending to 0 log of 1 plus x by x what is that? 1 quick recap The innovation. So, what is K? What is K? I got it. I got it. Log 3 the whole square. Log 3 the whole square. Yeah. You are correct. So, K value is nothing but. Shh. K value is nothing but. It is just the evaluation of this limit. It is just the evaluation of this limit. Now all of you, please, please look at this carefully. It is all about generating these three kind of limit in the very same question. So if you see a sin x, what do you need to utilize it? An x. So give it an x, give it an x. What do you need here? x. x. Give it an x, give it an x. So this is happy, this is completed, this is happy, this is completed. Now x and x becomes x square. Can I put that x square within the square and write it just in the next? So all together, this is like the first limit which I wrote. So it becomes log of 3 to the base e whole square. And these two guys are 1, 1. So that's your answer, log 3 whole square. Please do not write this as 2 log 3. People do that. Log 3 square only is 2 log 3, not log 3 the whole square. There's a difference. Yes, log of 3 square is 2 log 3, not log of 3 whole square. Okay, next one. I am not going to start with the differentiability today because again it requires same kind of discussion that we had today. For people who are scared of limits, Please revise them today itself. Next question. Discuss the continuity of. Discuss the continuity of. X to the power 4 minus 5x squared plus 4 by mod of x minus 1 mod of x minus 2 let me write it like this mod of x minus 1 into x minus 2 when x is not equal to 1 and 2 and it is 6 when x is equal to 1 it is 12 when x equal to 2 now when I say discuss the continuity, will you start discussing it at every point? No. Which point then? One and two. So first focus on proving it's continuous or discontinuous at one. So all of you please start working this out. Is this function continuous at x equal to one? You guys went for some competition, right? Did you win it? Because the class also did. But in life, I'm just saying this. 
have done this very hard. Take take risks. Now this whole thing has been modeled, right? Yeah. X minus one times X minus two has been modeled. So the same thing as the denominator. The denominator the whole thing is modeled. So the same as the mod of X minus one into mod of X minus two. So P T is claiming that it is continuous at X equal to one. Let's try to verify that result.
or what is the sign of this function? Okay. Some of you tried? All of you know the wavy curve? Correct? So less than 1 it will be just this. Greater, between 1 and 2 it will be a negative quantity and after 2 it will be a positive quantity. So let's say I am evaluating the limit of this function as x tends to 1 minus. Then x tends to 1 minus, what will your actual function become? What will your actual function become? It will become x to the power of Cancel this off, put the value of 1, you get a 6. That's why we got the 6 over here. Correct? When you are evaluating at 1 plus, 1 plus means you are, you are in this interval, right? So this would be a negative function. So what will mod do to it? It will make it, make, make it negative. So it will be like this. No talking, please. What it be like? Negative x minus 1, x minus 2. This will go off, this will go off. Put x as 1, it will give you negative 6. This is another way of checking the continuity at the next question. It's a very easy and schooling chapter. The only thing is please do not mess up the limits part. Who said 0 into infinity? 
you are partly correct. This is zero, but this is this cannot become infinity. Sine function can can never go to infinity. Infinity. Does it fall under any of these indeterminate numbers? Yes. 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 Yes.
forms were ignored, neglected. So how do you still we, solve this? Can we take LCM and do you do law with us? Of course. We have to take SMR packages directly. You can directly do it. Wow. Capital doesn't work on infinity minus infinity. It will work only when you convert it to 0 by 0 or infinity minus infinity. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
speaking. So what? Not to be used in school. Like, I don't try this in school.